In this video, we'll go over some simple steps you can take to fix the issue if your Sing Module 2 is not connecting to Wi-Fi, if you're having trouble with the setup or connectivity. There are a couple of troubleshooting steps you can follow to hopefully resolve the problem. The first thing you should try is to reset the Sing Module 2. To do this, plug in your device and make sure it's powered on. Look for the reset button, which can usually be found either on the device's back or near the bottom. For the Sing Module 2, it's typically located here, while on the Sing Module 1, it would be in a slightly different spot. Now, press and hold the reset button for about 5 seconds. After this, you should see the red light begin to flash, followed by a blinking blue light, and eventually a solid green light. This indicates that the Sing Module 2 is now ready to be set up again, and you can proceed with the Wi-Fi connection process. If this doesn't work, don't worry. There's another solution you can try. If the first step doesn't solve the problem, you will need to take a slightly different approach. First, unplug the device and leave it unplugged for about 30 seconds. Once the 30 seconds have passed, grab a pen or something with a small point and press and hold the reset button once again. While holding it down, plug the device back in. Keep holding the reset button for about 10 to 15 seconds until you see the red light flashing again. Once it does, release the reset button. Now, wait for the device to reset and the light to go back to its normal flashing green pattern. This means the firmware has been reset and the module is ready to reconnect to your Wi-Fi network. After the reset is complete, you should open the Blink app on your phone or tablet. Tap on the Sing module icon at the bottom of the home page. From there, select the Change Wi-Fi Network option from the displayed list. Follow the on-screen instructions to set up the device with your Wi-Fi. Once that's done, your Sing module 2 should be connected and working properly again. If you continue to experience issues, you may want to try restarting your router or contacting support for further troubleshooting.